If I don't slip over, I that'd be good for the video. <laughs> I'm very, very drunk. I'm here with Father Piker, and he's a <laughs> pole! <laughs> My new troll! 6 a.m. on Saturday. I'm heading up to the Peak District to see one thing was okay, and the outdoors, and we do camping collaboration thing. I don't know what it's going to be. Yeah, it's way, way, way too early. So, see what they don't bring it, and I might even visit the outside again. Hello, hello. Right. <laughs> hello. Hello. I don't know if we're getting through a tunnel, but that looks amazing. Yeah. I get all angles, I don't have to try it so <laughs> I'm just like, yep. Yeah. It's all on. There we go. There's some country where like they've literally got a restaurant by a train. Oh, oh no, they're yeah, in India. Yeah. Shit, like, like, I'm like, God, yeah. All the things go up and then it's... Are you supposed to cycle on the, on the railway platform? <laughs> <laughs> on the railway. The battle of the sticks. Do not cross the beams. I'm <laughs> gone. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't need to. It doesn't need to be on. Quick intro. I'm here with Father Piker, and he's <laughs> new troll. <laughs> my new troll. Yeah, I heard about my new troll. What is that about? I don't know. So, I can confirm Father Piker has a bigger one than me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they said. Like, like yeah, pole. yeah, it has to be. It's a phone. <laughs> Oh. going in the video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, That's the intro, guys. Yeah. That's Throwing why he gets all the girls. <laughs> and boys. <laughs> so I'm and boys. It's like, look at me. <laughs> oh my lord. Are you saying we're lost? <laughs> How did you get lost in a straight line? <laughs> <laughs> Are we lost? <laughs> How was that to our route? We're not lost. We're on the route. You sure we're not lost? Ooh. People climbing as well, that's scary. Oh, oh it's gonna crack me up. <laughs> We're filming, as well, yeah, just filming this. <laughs> just filming. <laughs> B roll! B roll! I'll be somewhere I get us in the shots. Well, I have to walk back and forth a few times. Push out the crowds. Yeah. <laughs> we had a good laugh about that the first time me and I went out. How much I have to go back and forth. The 360 camera helps with that. Yeah. You still have to go back and forth and leave your camera behind. Yeah. There was once where I had to do it where um, people would come up here. I mean, yeah. Because I mean, the thing is, I I stopped drawing for so many years, and one of my brief forays in doing landscape drawing was actually in the Peak District, and then I stopped again for another 13 years. It was kind of like I I stopped drawing and painting for 26 years. Wow, that's a big pause. Yeah, I was doing video work and design work, and right. and I was like, oh, I, I was very much like, old oh, media is dead with no paper, and then. Oh. I thought, well, yeah, nothing's really dead. I just. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Bye. Stop. We have break. So, like mine and Noah's trip, for instance, and it's been. Yeah, we've done a lot of trips. Man, because we got stuff in the past before YouTube that was fantastic. We had that on, we had that on film. That looks so a good, good place to wild camp as well. It also looks like a good place to take a yeah. leak. So I'll film myself going for a bit. No, I've got you covered, man. I've, I've got a group of uh, people. Oh, oh, crap. Yeah. How quick do you think I do this? Yeah. Where? This is how the magic is made. This is how the sausage is made. <laughs> <laughs> we won't even lock it, we'll just we'll, we'll fudge that bit. I'll go in a second. Oh, out he comes again, look. Yeah. <laughs> that's going to be a running joke, I just I know. I think that's the new catchphrase for Tim. <laughs> I'm getting my big one out. <laughs>
Uh, I might get you know, some kind of reputation there. <laughs> that's a different kind of YouTuber, different yeah, kind of streamer. Need, like a, you know, a I don't know. That's a, that's a pretty good title. I got my big one out. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I would need an OnlyFans for that, I uh, think. I mean, it depends what you use for the thumbnail, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. I should do a little bit of Well, the problem with my boyer, my this is the one. I, and what I'm using is the one I lost on Devil's Dyke, and it got I got sent back. I found it via Facebook. Oh, wow. Wow. Be nice. Because the, the the what happened is the um, is that I lost it and I was gutted. And then I actually posted on the on the walking Facebook South oh, Downs nice. Way walking. Oh, wow. and I said, "Has anyone seen the mic?" And, and someone else said, "Oh, I saw someone post about that on the Brighton oh, on the Brighton oh, Devil's Dyke page." And then, nice. and so yeah, it came back to me. I don't. It doesn't usually come out for any longer trips because I'm like, I don't want to lose it. So I've got like a cheaper one which I take on, on long trips I'll now. Wow. Look, of course, we missed that audio. Well, we were talking about the fact that uh, I brought some wine and some brandy. And uh, Molly doesn't drink. Uh, Noah's brought some cider. But uh, if Paul brought any extra beer for any of us, we do not. <laughs> Neither of us drink beer. But anyway, we all all want to be in the outside, and that's annoying to miss that. So, uh, I'm sure you recognise everyone. Hi, uh, how are you? Tim. 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 I'm Noah. Noah. All right, hi. And right. the idiots. Yeah, the idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I think four idiots today, though. The uh, weather in the morning. Oh my lord! Has anyone oh. checked the weather report? It's, it's checking it down. It's, I thought we were going to get a good one, and it's terrible. Yeah, <laughs> it, because you don't care. Yeah. No matter what. Don't think we're in a rush to get to the spot, and it's only going to take about an hour's walk. So we can chill out for a bit. Real chill vibe to this. If we're all good with that. Yeah, I'm chill is good. Chill is good. Um, I mean, if we get around, we can probably stuff our stuff somewhere safe. And then... This is ultra light camping, is it? This is really ultra light. Yeah, this is nuts. Yeah. And if I was like, oh, I'm bringing a chair, that's just. I've that's... Got half the brewery with me. <laughs> <laughs> that one away, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a car on the end of it. Oh, Jeez. Yeah. I'm like, it I looks like it's going to snap. It's, it's when he has to go double-handed with it because it's getting oh, so heavy. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, God, no wonder why he's double-handed. Because the, the best... weight of that on the leverage of that is quite <laughs> It must weigh you out a bit. bit. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Like, yeah. It does. Yeah. The worst thing is when yeah, I'm actually... He's already twice as big as mine. Yeah, it's bigger. The worst thing is when I've actually got the trekking poles as well. So I'm like holding the trekking poles in one hand and then holding this. So, yeah. Well, they're talking about Tim's big, big pole. Yeah. yeah. That seems to be the common theme. Oh, wow. That is amazing. That is amazing scenery. Why do they call it the Pink District? Oh. <laughs> Tunnel lights go off at dusk. Go rave. <laughs> Knock people out. No. Yeah. Get outside the <laughs> nearly knocked out another. Nearly got, <laughs> I nearly got another cyclist. <laughs> they got lights. Yeah, down the middle. Oh. Just. Not much, but enough to see by. Dear. This morning, all I've got. And there, here he comes. If there was ever a spot you didn't want to meet the outdoors without the fighter, that's it. You don't want to see that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I imagine you'd love to make that shot for me. I don't know. No. I think that's a moment. It's definitely a weapon. Uh, I mean, that would. I'm taking that in mind. <laughs> I don't care. It's only gone double handed, look, it's like it's serious business. I'm double fisting. Yeah. Oh, oh, Tim, 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 Tim. <laughs> oh. 
Sometimes the light from the end of the tunnel isn't a train. I was just saying earlier how we should get we should get a a bike with a very big light and the sound of a train and see what happens. Just drive it through the tunnel. <laughs> I know that'll be enough. <laughs> you got, yeah, you got and you got to have the, the horn. <laughs> see how many will run. Oh my god, that would be amazing <laughs> if you can frank it there. <laughs> <laughs> that would scare the living daylights out of you. Because I bet even though people know that there isn't a train running, they'll still be like in the back of their heads thinking. Just in case. What? What? Hold on. There, there's that question of like, was I wrong? Is this not an abandoned? <laughs> it's not, not it's a ghost train. <laughs> Must not lose my mobile down here. Probably would. Oh wow. That's beautiful. <laughs> this is some beautiful place. This is Headstone Tunnel. Viaduct. Wait for me. Typical, leaving me behind. Stop filming things. <laughs> Stop filming things. I'm so recording this. Do I should I be recording this? I don't know. Breaking the law. Breaking the law! Breaking the law! Well, it's not been saying to eat out, is it? True. I'm going to go over there. Yeah, I'm going to go over this way. You just want to be geo wizard. You want to go through the horse and push. Oh. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's hard to fall. I've got an island. I've got well, I've got, I've got my waterproof uh, socks. Sorry. that easy. It yeah. stops casual people like walking into the campsite. Yeah, it's gets a lot easier now. That's it. <laughs> oh, nice. You're far away now. I'm surprised you haven't got a bed in there. The circle of where we were last time. <laughs> that, that's where we are. Uh, I mean, there's still the stones. No one comes through here. What, the uh, f fireplace stones? Yeah, I think that's where we're doing that one. Oh, wow. Thanks for the night, guys. Cool. Is it? Is it? Yeah, so it's a good enough spot for like a few turns. Yeah, pretty sheltered. Anything up in the winter, you're going to see us. But if we wait until it gets a bit darker, we won't really have too much trouble, I don't think. Yeah. So, most people will be on the other side of the river. So that's the only crossings for ages, what we came across, so. <sighs> Let's just hope we don't have any rednecks with rifles on the hills. <laughs> do, do, do you hear that, the sound of banjos playing? No, anyway, I'm making... So wait, there's four of us. Oh. <laughs> I think I've got the comfiest one. <laughs> Stonehenge. I used to find a free to put it against. Yeah, I noticed that in the one where you were... Like, the, the chair. Yeah, thing on the roundabout, you put it against the, the sort of support. Brought some extra li new lights as well. It's going to be like a stadium in here. Yeah. <laughs> is it worth camping if it's if it's so light that it's like a stadium? Is it in it? Yeah. Is, is it stealth camping if it's a big fire by the A1? We're not. Yeah. We're just like... <laughs> no, I don't think anyone saw my fire. I honestly don't. <laughs> I, I, is it stealth camping by the river? <laughs> it was definitely stealth camping by the river. Regardless of what it says, there was nothing stealth camping. It was definitely stealth camping because nobody saw me. Nobody drove by and was like eyeing me up. What you don't see in that, right, is I actually go over and approach it. 
because I'm like. Oh, what the guy? The guy. There's a guy. You can't yeah, I it. saw that. There was like a guy. He was. But right, early in the day when I turn up, there's a guy parked there, right? The he's chair. Still looking around, and I don't know what he's doing. The sign. <laughs> yeah. The sign outside in. I'm having my lunch, and we have a brew which I made, and I nearly set fire to the whole area. But anyway, uh... it should be helping. We're just going to film it. <laughs> I mean, normally when guys are actually, you know, struggling to do something, a normal person would go and help. But we just film we it. Just film it. <laughs> and then when we're done, we're going to sit straight underneath it. Yeah, get yeah. Spot. <laughs> <laughs> well, while they do that, <laughs> do you know what time it is. It's pale ale time. Oh, yes. Good oh, yes. to see. The outside in. Oh, yes. I'll be surprised <laughs> if we still have that in the morning. With yeah. The I'm starting to put up our tents. It's windy. I'm going to have a look down down at the river. That's the weir. That's beautiful. That's where we are. Hydration bladder. I found a shredded hydration bladder. You see, people have been here. Oh, how, how was that? That was just over there. How was it just a yeah, it's spot, it's spotted signs of light? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are they allowed you to do that? <laughs> He's dead now. He's dead, Jim. Yeah, I'd be getting all these people saying that I don't know how to use a pump bag, and I think this pump bag doesn't work properly. And and so I would like to see uh, this. The, I'm going to call it the pump bag challenge, and see if any of you can actually pump it up with the pump bag, because I think you can't do that with this. This. So you basically just pop a load of air in it and then squeeze it into. Yeah. The, yeah. You should do. You should do, in an ideal world, in an ideal world, this is what you should do. But apparently, I can't, I don't know how to use a pump bag, and I'm a useless idiot, apparently. So, we've got, we've got my light tour mattress. This is the challenge, is it? Yeah. <laughs> you should have eaten something first. So, basically, you've got to get a load of wind in there. Yeah. And connect it, well, connect it connect up. Connect it, get the wind in. So yeah. The wind's in my favour in that direction, isn't it? Yeah. You do know why I'm the idiot outdoors. Yeah, I know, but I'm gonna get. He, I'm, he, I'm loving it. We're all gonna. Do, we're all gonna do this. We're all gonna do this, and I, I want. I want to see if you can. Because if the idiot outdoors can do it, and then you can't. Oh, oh yeah, I know. Oh no! You'll have to rename your channel. I mean, the bigger idiot outdoors. <laughs> 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 it is a lot smaller. My my bag is smaller. My rig, my rod is bigger. You're going to be here a long time. Yeah, but then it gets full of moisture, doesn't it? That's the problem. Yeah. You do want to use the bag in the ground. Get in. It does work. It's just a bit slow. Are you sure? So uh, yeah, that's, that's, it. Working. that's working. It's just so small. <laughs> yeah, that's working. But he's going very slow with this. You, uh, oh, I've got some. I've got some. Yeah. Got some. <laughs> that's it. Milk it. That's what you got to do. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what else did it win? What else do you call that motion? That, 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 that. <laughs> be careful around here. They'll be. They'll come around. Whoa. Yeah, that's going up. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, yeah. It's slow, it's just a really small amount each time. That's what she said. He does look a bit dodgy. <laughs> that's going on. He's done it. He's oh, done it. It's, it's just a one-way valve on it, I'll take it. Yeah. It certainly has, because it's not leaking out. 
It's going very well. How am I going to get air in there? Like oh, that? that's, that's easy. That's easy. Um, what's it called when you blow and all the air comes with it? It's <laughs> called something. In, in, tra in treatment. Or whatever. I don't know. Somebody will come about the right word. It's um, blowing. Basically, when you blow, when you, you'll ever see me do it with a fire. I'm not just blowing my air from my lungs in the fire. I blow and I suck all the air from around my head. It goes yeah. through that air. So oh wow! They have pump. They have bags that you can do that, and it's designed to hold it in the scope, and you'll get like loads of air in. Oh, so so I am an idiot who doesn't know how to use a pump bag. Okay. I think you just didn't give it a chance. Oh. I think you were using it and just it doesn't look like it's doing anything. Yeah, well, like I did I about. Firm to on it. Um, <laughs> man, whoa! Man. Yeah. Can we keep this firm, firm on that, please? Firm on right. <laughs> You can always do firmer than that. I mean. don't, don't do that to me. <laughs> 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 oh. The tent's up. Oh, it's I'm set up the fire. It's the fire pit. Yep. So this is. The Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most awkward part of the whole operation, to be fair. Um, a bit. Have some light. <laughs> This is the most awkward part of the operation, thing. getting this bit together. Once this is done, it's all easy. This was like an afterthought. So, uh, Do you want more light? time will I mess around with this? Uh, yeah, I don't like this. Just have the whole lot. Have more light. I don't know if I even need this really, but I'm, I'm determined to use it now, build it. You think I need more firewood? Is it li lick, drink, uh, lime? The lime is there. Right, so you want me to talk you through it, yeah? Yeah. 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 Right, for the purpose of the uh, cameraman. Oh, hello, mate. Um, we're having a shot of tequila. Uh, tequila. We're going to lick the sauce, down the hatch, and then bite on the line. Mm -hmm. All good? Yeah. I'm just drinking this tequila. Three, two, one. Uh -huh. I'm just having neat tequila. <laughs> oh, tin is hardcore. Tin is hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing else. What oh. I didn't realise was that actually I haven't smashed it forward in that. Oh. <laughs> you actually gave it quite a lot too. The, yeah. out, the outside in, Ooh. the heavy pour. I'm mixing this with brandy, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> I'm very, very drunk. Well, actually, oh. I'm not actually very drunk, but I'm a bit drunk. Yes, drunker than normal. I'm semi drunk. Anyway, it's beautiful apart from maybe the wind, but that's fine. Uh, well, right, fine. so we're going to try and do some cooking. I think it's one of the few things people understand. But if you've got try else, is the operative word. The We've got the um, alcohol stove on top of the inverted fire maple, which is a way of creating it as a stand. Just hope slugs don't get in there. And we're going to do some chicken. We've got the chicken. We've got some noodles. Make sure we use this. So let's see what we can do. Got some truffle oil. I actually have some lemon juice, sesame oil, and soy sauce. I'm going to cook the chicken first, and then do the noodles. Come on. Yep. Wow. <laughs> it lost one. No. Okay, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. I've got plenty of salt. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, that is a problem. I got chicken and noodles. Chicken and noodles. I've got uh, lemon juice, sesame oil. In fact, the sesame oil should be on the chicken. That is probably a good idea to do that now. So hey, let's put that on now. What noodles you got? Uh, rice noodles. Oh, rice noodles. Oh, 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 but I have okay. small vermicelli noodles. Uh, no, the flat, the big flat, the big, the big flat ones. Uh, okay, okay. I thought it was like one of those hand warmer things. Sorry, uh, Tim, uh, yeah. I don't mean to be... Um, what you're intolerant to? Gluten, yeah. Yeah. That's fine. 
yeah, we're gonna see see if this actually cooks. <laughs> yeah, so once, once it's uh, yeah. Will this cook? Will this cook? Will this cook? So I'm gonna soak the onions and uh, you know make the sauce, and uh, you and Molly and me are gonna like get some skewers and we're gonna basically skewer the chicken. So. We've got the lemon juice and the uh, sesame oil on the chicken and that's kind of is this frying or is this broiling? I got no idea. And then we'll do the we'll do those later. Oh I forgot to get the bowl. Let's get the bowl out. Marucaso time. If I can work out how to actually put this back together. Chicken is slowly cooking. And then do the noodles and then reunite it and heat it, heat the chicken back up again. I think something like that. If it doesn't blow away, oh, tequila. Tequila. And I forgot my mushrooms, which is not good. But we've got aracaso ready. That was fun. And we try not to lose the packaging in the wind. And that's slowly cooking. In fact, need to rotate it round a bit. And they're doing their curry over there. Well, hey, it's on the fire pit, which is uh, much more posh, much more posher than this. Anyway, some bay seasoning, and we get some garlic in here as well. In a bit, that chicken is cooked. We're going to put the chicken on the side and then do the noodles which shouldn't take too long <laughs> we don't have any five spice um and we'll, we've got some soy we'll add some soy in there but that chicken is cooked and then we're going to do the noodles um noodles will add into that so paul do you want to be sponsored by a, by an alcohol company you can be sponsored by a beer company. Uh no, I'm alright. I, I don't I don't eat prawn until the It's just the thing I don't eat prawns until the It needs an alcohol bob. That's what it needs. <laughs> <laughs> You're obsessed with your alcohol bob. It, it, it will it will kick up it once that smoke's got it's gonna Going for play. Yeah. Let's have some more light on this. Boom! Do it! <laughs> <laughs> you don't even sat there though. <laughs> no, I'll be sitting there watching it. Boom! <laughs> Boom! Boom! Uh, there you go. Boom. Tequila. That, that's your food. Get a bag. Boom! Boom. Tell Tim what his catchphrase should be. He needs one. He needs one out. As long as it's not Big Black Cock of Death. <laughs> Long story. <laughs> or mine's bigger than his. I do not want those. Yeah. Those are not right. <laughs> mine's bigger than that. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. No. No and no. A veto. It's gone. It's gone. Sorry, sorry, Tim. Wow. Okay. No, can you see us? That's kind of. Yeah, it's kind of. <laughs> it's getting very misty around here. Yeah, no, no, we're good. We're good. Yes, fine. Just it's just. Oh, God. The batteries yeah. nearly died. You really want to do it now, don't you? So I'm just Fire slowly over. cooking my, my noodles. Well, I don't know. The level of stupidity that is just yeah. mind bending. But, but on the flip side to that, is I don't not as good as that. Offended, but no. I have to. Holy, that works. Yeah, the, the new video started to track a lot. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, not, not and the old but... ones are now getting. They're starting to get action. I told and you. They, I told you. Send it in the next day or two. I told you. <laughs> Titanium. titanium. It's all about titanium. Here, here to titanium. <laughs> I've been scratching my head over this for so long. For two weeks, I've been like, what is wrong? And I come along videos. and just go, oh, it's titanium. Oh, yeah, okay. okay all, yeah. The, all, all, the, all the stuff is in that I need to go in. I know it might be slightly smoked. 
but I'm not a kipper. But as cold as you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, five, five degrees. Oh, he says it's dropping the. Yeah, mate. He's falling asleep in the chair. In the chair. He's falling asleep in the chair. In the chair. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think everyone's hiding from the rain. I've heard the odd voices. It's yeah, just after 7 o'clock. Maybe they're doing, like me, they're doing a little video. But yeah, it was an okay night. Although I didn't put the tent into the wind configuration lower down. It was kind of 8 degrees in here. Oh, it's 9 degrees now. It was a tequila, I forgot to clear the fridge thermometers to get the highs and lows, but yeah, there was like six degrees outside at the moment. Yes. I don't know how waterproof those are. So the wind is whistling through here, making it, making it chillier than it would be. But yes. Let's see what the day will bring. I need to go and get some water from the river. I need to go and have a pee. And uh, I'll probably just use the Aquatab thingies. Um, I could use my water filter, but they're all weak. I don't know. I might give it a try. A very wet. <laughs> Cold day. It's just after 7 a.m. Unfortunately, my chair. I oh, see I was using my outkit chair. Got rather drenched. And that's not right, Pina. <laughs> Hello. Morning, Tim. Morning. Morning, Tim. Morning, Tim. I've been up for a while. Just... Do I look pretty? Yeah. In my massive punch. <laughs> That's so when my noodles blew onto the tree last night. <laughs> <laughs> Leave no trace, Tim. Leave I no know. Trace. Leave no trace, everyone. This is the stuff we found, and our, our rubbish, but also some of the stuff we found. Yeah, there bottles, wasn't it? Yeah. Bottles, yeah. and we've, we've I found, I found, I found this, which is a, I don't know what that is. That's a, a hydration bag that's been shredded by something. I don't know how. Did they get attacked? Did they get attacked by an animal? If that was in the river, it might have just got. Uh, did you say you found it by the river? No, I found it just up there. Oh right. Yeah, I don't know. So yeah, leave no trace, everyone. Leave no trace. When you, whenever you're, when and try and take more trash with you than you can. We need to get it higher. Yeah. Well, you're the one that shimmies up trees. Uh, who's climbing this tree for me? Just yeah. <laughs> you're the one that's good at, good at shooting up trees. you can get the drone sh shots while you're up there. Yeah. Let's see if this water's drinkable. Well, we'll make it drinkable. If I don't fall over first. Woo! What's that? <laughs> yeah, see if I can find and get any without getting drowned. I see you. Yeah. I can't really film this at the same time, so... Good point.
man. I need to put in more. I need to put in more than I need. I mean, it's kind of like it's supposed to be like two for a liter, half an hour. I usually kind of like do a bit less than a liter. And they sort of dissolve, kill any pesties. Because it's the most, it's the most reliable. Because filters will take will take the set, won't take the viruses out. This stuff will take most things out. The only problem is you can get. It's pretty clear though. That is very clear. I was expecting to be very sedimenty with the rain. Yeah. But the, the, the thing is, is that. I mean, I'm going to boil it anyway, so it's kind of like, I probably didn't, don't need to do the treatment bit, but I, I tend to do both because I'm paranoid. <laughs> First you need a really fashionable poncho. Second you need a guy to go get your wood for you. Yeah. <laughs> but no, yeah. in seriousness, the first thing to do is find the really good dry wood, which is inside the trees normally. Um, it's all kind of... It'll be either still attached to the tree or just sort of laying inside the tree. But you go to where the, the trunk of the tree is, the all the order upright, and you look underneath where there's maybe some still got leaves or you've still got the ivy or whatever, and there'll be some sheltered wood. And even though it's raining like you wouldn't believe out here, that's almost bone dry. And it's well seasoned. It snaps really dry inside. So you find your good wood. There's always good wood about. Then when you build your fire, it's about structure. You've got to make sure you've got airflow, but you also want plenty of surfaces facing each other. So <laughs> that's going to contain the heat, get that started, dry off all the wood as best as possible, because even though it looks dry, it's still got a lot of moisture. It needs time, but it needs air. And the wetter the wood, the more air you need. It's as simple as that. So you build a little you pyramid. Build it, you build it. Well, there's loads of ways to build it. You can build it like little walls crisscrossing over, all sorts of things. I started with a crisscross, and then I've Ended up with the teepee, just because the teepee's off usually the easiest way. And that also helps funnel it up. And you'll see this will follow that up now. And so you'll get a tall fire. Yeah. That means there's airflow and it creates like a chimney effect. And that's what you want. When it's damp, you want airflow. But when you, when you start, it's like you need like a fire lighter or something very kindling, something that's uh, dry. Yes. I mean, normally, if you just have stuff that's really thin, like some dry grass, in the summer, that's what I'll use. I'll just grab a load of handful of really long dry grass. Anything that's dry and very thin and small. Essentially... People don't understand it, but you're going from small to big, and you have to—you can't just go straw to a big rub of wood. You have to go slowly but surely up and up and up. Yeah. I've started with slightly bigger stuff because we've got a fire lighter in there, and I've got a little bit of charcoal, which is going to give me enough time for that that big wood to get going. That's where the time comes in. You can't rush that. You need lots of little stuff, whether it's like you say, fire lighter, kindling, whatever. You get that going, but then you're going to need really small. Thin stuff, yeah. build up from there, build up to slightly fatter stuff, slightly fatter stuff, until eventually you get to your logs. But if you rush it, or you just start humming your wall straight on and, and smothering the fire, you, you've, you've accomplished nothing. You've got to structure it, allow it so that the fire can spread, get its oxygen, and oxygen is key when it's wet. Mm. It's, it's, it's the biggest factor. But yeah, fires is uh, it's half science, half artwork. Okay? <laughs> It's uh, summer loaded today. I've put up a tarp. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's great. So I'm not the lazy one sitting down the whole day. Don't cut this out, Paul. <laughs> I did something. <laughs> I don't just sit on my bum. <laughs> and we, we helped you with the, the, the tarpy when it was trying to fly away. Indeed. It was a, that was a team effort, to be fair. <laughs> team effort the tarp. <laughs> oh, but... You know, you know, how to build yourself a good, solid fire. Yeah. Hey, if you're an arsonist, we take <laughs> anything destroyed. Uh, in this video. Uh, I've got a tip for the arsonists out there. Wait. Start your fire with water. <laughs> water works for oh, a fire arsonist. There you go. There you go. Sorry. Yeah. Right. Now, is that sparkling or fizzy? Any. <laughs> sparkling. 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 <laughs> Most expensive um, sparkling spark, water you can get. Get it going quick because that's what you put your. That's yeah. Drop of the old Perrier. Yeah, yeah lots and lots of very expensive Perrier. There you have it. <laughs> On a serious note, if you've never done a fire before, don't just go off and have a fire. 
but you've got to know what you're doing. It's very easy to go from a controlled fire to suddenly everything around you is on, on fire. So don't do it unless you've got someone responsible with you who's done it before. End of. We have to blur out the little bag. They're not sponsoring us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> blur it out and say, bag, sponsor us, and then we'll not blur it. If that's a rubbish bag, I'll stop putting all the stuff in it. I've, uh, well, I've got a, you know, that black, the black plastic bag there. Oh, okay. You know, I did that rubbish that was behind the tent. Oh, yeah, you cleared it, okay. Yeah, it's all in the black bag. Oh, I, I, I just put it behind there last night because I couldn't yeah. see Is that a trend, yeah? No. It's a... A trend, yeah. Rip-off. Rip-off. But, yeah, no, I, I, I've... It is a hikeman. A hikeman. Whatever that is. So it looks, I, li I like the stand. I mean, the cut yeah. stand is very cool. You like the stand? Yeah, oh, little, 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 little standy it's thing. Spoon. It's quite versatile. You can turn yeah. it upside down. And... Never mind. Yeah, but obviously, you can lower that. Obviously, higher onto here. What the hell? Say, so turn it upside down. What? You've got the, simmer, oh, the simmering as well. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, because yeah. it has it built in, doesn't it? Oh, I love yeah, that. I love that. I love those. Yeah, you got no most of it. Speeds the stoves. They do like a yeah, they have a separate little thing. Put it on. You can't adjust it obviously after the fact, so it's kind of. But yeah, I was tempted by one of the, by one of those, but they're. I I'm, I'm, I just know I probably kick them over. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I've kicked it over many times. My breads. But I've got a fur mark in these ones as well. Oh, yeah. Well, for about three or four pairs of trackies where I've just set fire to myself. Where I've turned over to reach for something and my legs kicked it. Oh. So, yeah, disclaimer. Yeah. Cooking in the vestibule. Yeah. 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 Be, oh, I'm, always, own risk. I'm always super. Only like, pros do that. Concerned when you do that because you can look the fumes and all that from what you're doing can be like if you haven't got enough airflow. Like, oh, yeah. But I think you're right if there's enough. Bioethanol doesn't give off carbon. Like, yeah, does it not? No, it not. It gives off uh, CO2. CO2, yeah. 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 It's very clean burning. Yeah, that's oh, why that's you can use it indoors. Um, if, you, if, if, if you're doing methanol, though, uh, methylated spirits, you should uh, probably burn that outside because there's lots of horrible things in you methylated should, spirits. Have you detailed that in any of your videos? In one of them, yeah. Oh, like, one so of them. Like, people say, oh, you, you know, you, you'll end up falling asleep and not waking up again. And, and it's yeah, like, no, no, it's not. It's not. No, that, that, that's the first thing I thought. I, mean, I think a lot of people like because it, it's a general rule, don't burn, because I would never put wood fire in a tent. You the air Yeah. Yeah, there is airflow, but I also was a bit like, damn, if you've got it on all night though and stuff, and if it's and there's it no calms down and there's no wind. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 I wouldn't, but, I wouldn't, yeah, yeah. I you know wouldn't you can have like your little like, like, my heater on, heater on, but you put it off when you go to sleep, I guess. All I do is get the, the obviously get it to a nice comfortable temperature, mm. and then get in my bag and then knock it out, ah. tip up, and then you'll be surprised on the coldest of nights, just the heater in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've took the thermo uh, thermometer. Yeah. I've hung it on the lantern hanging point. Um, and when it's been about minus one outside, I've had a temperature at the back of the tent where you've got the airflow coming in, 18 degrees. Yeah. Yeah. So you're surprised me. Yeah. Effective that little heat. Well, some people use like, um, like tea lights or candles. You don't need a lot of, of heat. Yeah. Some people like make those, it, like, Pot one yeah. up from and ceramic pots, so really so but that's yeah. yeah. But you're burning like your wax, then that is your, yeah. You will get yourself sorted if you were. <laughs> Unless you you want, you can do. If you want, you pull them two corners out for them. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Bye bye, OEX. I in a two. You've done me proud again. Yeah, the sight's pretty clear. It's been a really nice. Me? Yeah. As you can probably see, So this has worked pretty well. This is my mod. This is a, a tactical pouch um, attached to the 
the straps here because there's a very expensive um, kind of a, a 10 litre day pack you can put on there but I actually modded that and I fab sealed it so it's it's fairly waterproof that's where I put my puffy jacket and my waterproofs and I have my chair with me so I've got to use my Alpkit chair I haven't used that for ages so. but yeah the Osprey is working pretty well just don't expect it to be waterproof I mean that is that is yeah, that, that is that the is most ridiculous. That is quite ridiculous. I've seen almost what happened. Oh. It's the biggest one I've seen in my life. I mean, it does, it does catch in, you know, I can see the picture, it does get you. I mean, I think the trouble is, is it, it's pointing, well, at the moment, it's pointing upwards quite a lot. Yeah. So I, 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 you need to point it down a bit, but. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite hard to get the frame. It's, it's it is. Frame. It's very hard to get the frame right. It's some, I, it's some of the things I see that, you know, the same head. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the problem. I can never get the angle right. Ah, lovely weather. Yeah, that, the mud is worse than anything else. Yeah, the mud will clear up in a, in a, in a couple of weeks. Yeah, the field will disappear. Hopefully, they don't slip over. I thought that'd be good for the video. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Here's Tim. With my big rod. <laughs> With his big one. <laughs> my word, that's a big selfie stick. <laughs> oh. Oh, you heard it. Really you can go for your swim. Is he going to go for his swim now? Oh, why not? Careful. <laughs> Power of nature. Wow. I modded my uh, Osprey to have like a little... That's like, you're supposed to spend like 60 quid getting an Osprey official day pack. And I got one for like 13 quid, like a little tactical, it's like a tactical pouch, and then yeah. just attached it That's with nice. bungee yeah, cord. Yeah, can see, uh, <laughs> yeah. well, it's this is my day, but I guess. I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's on its last leg. It's, it's going to get fun going up that hill. Yeah. The, well, muddy, the muddy hill we came down. The muddy hill. That's going to be fun. Aren't there a few steps and stones and <laughs> Yeah. It, it is a lot wetter now. I know. Well, that's why that's why I found that's why I slipped on that fence because it was like. Oh, the fence got so. Slippery. That that's what happened is that I skinned my oh, knee on that. Is. Okay. Because I I tried it with my pack and just just my like these just went, <laughs> and that yeah. was like ouch. When I had the pack on, it was too much weight. And, you know, so I I, I, I took it off. I, yeah, I did I did that. What didn't help is you got all these people coming on the other side looking at you and you're like, oh, yeah, like oh, this is cool. <laughs> you don't really get out of the way. People are like, scorping you. A couple over there, you know, that when we came in, just like staring. It's like, so weird. I know. Uh, like, why, why are you staring so well, What is going on? Where are you going? If this goes into a thing where it, it clicks off and goes into sleep mode, quite often it just doesn't save as a file. Oh, Though sometimes it does. So I, that's why I wasn't sure when I slipped, I might have that, I might not, because it, it, it slipped off into the, uh, when it goes to sleep. Oh, no. If, if, if some reason it goes to sleep, especially when it gets rained on, because this, count, this um, <laughs> the rain activates the, the touch screen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> and sometimes I have to redo them again and go, crap, I lost that. But I'm not going to redo that fence again. No. 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 <sighs> Oh, I get it. It's like a... You have to start somewhere. 
Well, uh, well, that's I've been looking for like small because you can get ones that are like a bit like the size of my selfie stick. Yeah. And so if, if I've got something that's combined with that, that would be okay because I'm carrying the selfie stick anyway. But they're not waterproof. I mean, this isn't strictly waterproof. But it's more waterproof than they are. Stick. I hate to film and see who falls over on the steep, oh, muddy yes, climb up. Because yeah, I'm not going to be filming this time, so. <laughs> If anyone falls over and there's footage of it, we must be, it must be shared. Well, I fell over on the bank, but I'm not sure I recorded it. So, so Tim go first then, so he gets a, you know, walk here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think he's done videos where he's done about maybe big foot loops on here. Maybe, maybe the three gets the way they go. Oh. We need to tell them after the storm does. The answers are there. I know. Bigfoot. Oh, no, but it's Bigfoot. It's Bigfoot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that one. I was on the edge there. I didn't get that no, one. No, you're facing the way. Yeah. I'm paranoid about slipping. Did the wrong way. From bottom to up, from right to left, or whatever. Right to left. Oh. Stop staying. Okay, I'll try and find myself. Let's hope we don't slip. <laughs> There's a lot more slippy going up. But it's going down. Oh, it was sticky last night. Huh. It's been rainy. Don't. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. When you have to, you know, one hand pass, just, uh, yeah, I know. I'm just trying to make it hard for myself. <laughs> <laughs> At least the struggle's real. Yeah, the struggle for YouTubers is real. <sighs> I probably need to stop in a second. <sighs> yeah, there was a point where it's like, is it worth it? Well, she's already damaged myself. that way. Might be harder. Let's... Maybe. I'm not sure it's better. No. No. Oh. Managed to do it without. Yeah. I'm still wet from the inside because of the sweat. Oh, oh so I haven't sweat much, so. I have Yeah, that's, that's right. actually This is uncomfortable, it's just being wet. That's why I don't always like the water trees on the bucket. If I feel like there's a, a borderline, I'll, like, I'll just leave it. But... <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Look at that camera on camera. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> camera on camera action. The way it all began. Lovely. <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, it really has. Yeah, been great. Can't wait for the next one. Yeah. 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 Definitely going to do another one. We have. Thank we you. have to. It's super real. <laughs> Keep it real. Super real. <laughs> super real. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Safe travel. Yeah, you, you too. too. <laughs> I'll see you soon. So that was us camping 
any of the outdoors, uh, camping rules okay, Noah and me out in the Peak District, it was a good one, I think, shame it chucked it down today, and uh, it's been really enjoyable, uh, my first collaboration video, and as you can see it's a beautiful place, we're just packing up, and if you like this video, uh, go like and subscribe to an idiot outdoors and camping rules okay and i'll put a video on screen probably the one of the south downs way one depending which way where i do this on screen now and uh don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel as well so we're gonna head back to the car and try and get a bit drier <laughs>